Database administrators use software to store and organize data. In this video, we will go over what database administrators do, the job market, what kind of money they make, as well as their starting salaries. And at the end of the video, we will cover the top five highest paying metro areas for database administrators. Coming up. Hey everyone, my name is Stephen Hack, and this is Career Watch, where we help you with your career search. We have weekly videos on job statistics, salary statistics, and other general career information. And if you enjoy this video, hit that like button to support this channel. Database administrators use specialized software to store and organize data, such as financial information and customer shipping records. They make sure that data is available to users and secure from unauthorized access. Database administrators are often called DBAs for short. Some DBAs oversee the development of new databases. They often monitor database performance and conduct performance testing. DBAs often specialize. System DBAs focus on physical and technical aspects of a database, as well as the system architecture. Application DBAs support a database that has been designed to be used for specific applications. DBAs often need a bachelor's degree in computer science or a similar degree to begin working. There are stories of people becoming DBAs without a degree, but this is much more challenging. Next, let's take a look at the historical job market for DBAs. This chart shows the number of jobs for DBAs over the past 20 years. Most other occupations steadily rise over time. I'm not entirely sure what is going on with this occupation. What might be happening is the roles of database administrators are overlapping with maybe software developers. In the year 1999, the government recorded 101,460 jobs for DBAs. And for about 20 years, there was substantial volatility in the number of jobs. The number of jobs rose and fell many different years. By the year 2018, the government recorded 110,090 jobs for DBAs. So there was a gain of almost 9,000 jobs over a 20 year time period. This may look bad, but check out the unemployment rate of DBAs. The unemployment rate has been steadily falling for years. It hit a high of 6.6% .6 in 2003 and a second high of 4.7% in 2009. Since then, the unemployment rate has been falling. Recently in 2018, the government recorded unemployment rate at 0.5%. The government is optimistic about the future job market for DBAs, and there's a couple of reasons for this. More and more companies are utilizing the cloud to store and manage their data. Database admins used to manage databases inside their company's servers. Now many are experts at using AWS, Google Cloud, or Microsoft Azure's cloud platforms. The question is, will this cloud use lead to an increase in the number of DBAs or a decrease? Will automation lead to a drop in the number of jobs? This chart is showing the anticipated job growth of DBAs and other similar occupations. The government is predicting an addition of 11,000 DBA jobs over the next 10 years. So they are predicting less job growth for DBAs compared to, say, cybersecurity analysts, system administrators, and software developers. Next, let's take a look at what database administrators earn. In 1999, the average base salary for database admin was $52,550. By the year 2018, this average base salary had risen to $92,030. So wages rose for database admins by $39,480 over a period of 20 years. Finally, let's take a look at which metro areas pay database administrators the most amount of money. The average base salary is around $92,000 per year, but certain metro areas pay much more than this. Let's take a look. First, we are headed to the Northeast Quarter. We are headed to the Big Apple. We're headed to New York, New York, where the average database administrator makes $107,250. Next, we are headed to the West Coast. We are headed to the city known as the City by the Bay. We're headed to San Francisco, where the average database admin makes $107,660. Next, we are headed back to the East Coast, back to the Northeast Corridor, to a city called Trenton, New Jersey, where the average database administrator makes $108,590. Then we are headed back to the West Coast, south of San Francisco. San Jose, California is in our number two spot with an average base salary for database administrators at $110,240. And the number one city on our list is Bridgeport, Connecticut, also located close to New York City. The average database administrator in Bridgeport earns $110,700. Are you interested in becoming a database administrator? Let me know in the comments below. Thanks for watching and I will see you next time.